Hi there! It's a beautiful day. Hope you're having an amazing time. I'm Genovia. I do mostly lifestyle hobby and mostly food related Honda. In this video, I'm going to a Japanese restaurant. It's a restaurant I frequent all the time. Before I do that, I'm going to show you a little story about how I found the particular place. I'm going to do chapter so you can just skip it to the eating part. So, Nana has a lot of street food stalls everywhere. There's also Japanese food like sushi. They are cheap and great for a quick snack, but the taste is just okay. As someone who loves sushi and had a lot in her lifetime, I need more flavor than that. Every person who comes to Nana always goes to Nana Zenda for some reason. To use the restroom, for example. So every time I go there, I will notice this sushi shop in the basement floor. It looked interesting and for some time I was afraid to try it because I might not like it. In this economy, I did not want to spend money on things I might regret. One day, something came over me. I decided to try one sushi and I loved it. It was satisfying and also great for my wallet. It now became my go-to affordable sushi place. There it is, my short story about how I found this little gem. I even included it in my top 10 favorite restaurants to try around the Latin district. In this video, I'm going to deep dive into your popular menu items. And no, I did not actually teleport to Japan. That's just how I feel after eating their food. We are at Latin Santa and I'm going to show you the quickest way to get to our little hidden treasure. Wait, wait, no, no, no. Come this way. What do you think? This is the easiest way to get to this place. I'm hungry, can't wait anymore. Let's get inside. Now the one thing that I like about this place that I can actually customize my own sushi with the steps they show up there. Step one, you can actually choose the three types of sushi rice. And then step two, any meat you want to choose, you can choose that. Step three, the, your preferred vegetable. And step four, they have six types of sauce. That's really interesting. They have really spicy, level five spiciness of sauces. So I just ordered my food. And there's one thing I've been wanting to do. All my favorite food blog YouTubers does it. They will take you into the kitchen and show their cooking process. I've been wanting to do that and I asked their permission and they said yes, I will be taking you into the kitchen. So let's see how they does it. As you can see, their kitchen directly from when you eat. So it's like an open kitchen type. As far as I know, most of the restaurants here, they do not have an open kitchen unless it's a high quality and very expensive restaurant. So to be able to see the cooking process of your food in a affordable restaurant is kind of really amazing and wholesome for me, in my opinion. The first thing they do is for the spicy sushi rice and the, it also their signature dish. They first put in a sesame oil, it kind of smells even good from here, and sriracha sauce, and even a Korean chili paste. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Another Korean spicy chili sauce, they put it in, mix them. They really are gentle with what they're doing. They're fast, but they're also very gentle. They don't just go whoosh, whoosh. You know what I'm saying? And for the finishing touch, the mayo. Mm. The next one is the teriyaki one, the chicken teriyaki that I've been interested in for a while. I kind of want to ask how they do it. Mm, you kind of really smell the sauce even from flying while I'm standing over here. The sauce is homemade with a bunch of stuff, some of the Japanese miri ingredients, so I'm very excited about this taste. Oh, and the fanciest, they toast it with flame. Oh, and more sauce on top of it. 
my god. This is really next level for me to witness. So the next up we have my like my very favorite item from this restaurant and it is their crab sushi pizza. Oh wow. And of course their teriyaki sauce and I knew they had another sauce in it. I just don't know what it is. So the teriyaki is what's making it good. And of course the de for decoration, the finishing touch. Wow. I made a mistake. It wasn't a teriyaki sauce. It's an unagi sauce. It's a e sauce made from an eel. Who thinks of that? I don't. Delicious. No wonder it tastes extraordinary. It's kind of very pleasing and kind of calming to see the chef preparing your food. Uh, I don't know how to really explain it, but it's very satisfying in my opinion. Oh wow. They even pour the remaining sauce on top of it. Oh my. I kind of want to taste one right now. They're preparing the food for me, so thank you chef for showing me around. We're going to go back to my seat. It's smelling so good, the smell is tempting me to pick up and put it in my mouth. So, I must go back to my seat. So, the food has arrived. There's so many of them on my table, I do not even know where to start. Actually, I'm going to start with the spicy sushi. Since it's literally their name, it's spicy sushi. Itadakimasu. Mm. Oh wow. The sushi is so big, I can't even talk immediately. I have to chew and swallow first. It is a little bit spicy. You see the Korean sauces in there, but it doesn't taste too Korean. They put sushi rice into it, so the sweetness kind of really balances with the spiciness. Really. It's the second sushi. Wow. There's no plate on the table, so I just have to hold it like this. It's tempura sushi. Very fresh. Mm. I got two types of miso. It's sweet and spicy. I always get the sweet one because it's traditional, but this time I wanted to try the spiciness, so maybe let's see how it goes. Mm. Ooh. Surprisingly, it's not too spicy. It still has the miso taste. Wow. I did not know spicy miso was a thing. Ah, oh, it really calms my heart down. It's delicious. Okay, so I want to eat it fresh. So let's take this sweet mayo tempura. Mmm. Oh, oh my god. It's so creamy. It's really sweet. I don't know if they put honey in it. It kind of, it kind of gives me a little honey flavor. I'm ordering that again next time. I also got their vegan options, which is the salad. Looks pretty. Comes with their special green apple sauce. I'm gonna pour it all over. Mm. Is it good? Okay. Taste test. Mm. Mm. Wow. Wow. I don't know what I was expecting, but I was not expecting that. Yes, it's sweet, but also a little tangy and a little bit hit of a sourness into it. This is my first time tasting that. It's really delicious. It's savory. Wow, I was not expecting that at all. So it's time for my teriyaki. One thing I've been wanting to try. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Much juicier than I expected. The chicken is quite tender, and you get a 
so a lot of that sauce flavor out to it. It's not bad. It would be better if the sauce is a little thicker, but I like it. 8 out of 10. So they also gave the salad option into it, so let me mix it all up and eat it together with the chicken. Mmm, mm. yeah. that's more like it. The salad goes really, really well with the teriyaki chicken. Sweet, savory, love it. It's wakame time. Mmm, not bad, it's very crunchy. Next up, we have the fried lotus tempura. I'm not a fan of lotus, so we'll see how it goes. Mmm, not bad, it's sweet. They gave two Thai sauce sauce. This is the made spicy mayo sauce, but I want to try this Thai green chili sauce. This is also their homemade sauce. Mmm, mmm. A non lotus fan has become a lotus fan. The salt is delicious, spicy, tangy. I love it. The next up, we have this wings, spicy sweet chili wings. Mmm. Oh wow. As it says. Spicy. It's tingling my tongue. Crunchy. It's soft. It's juicy. Mmm. You should try them. Ah, since I have a lot of sweet and creamy things, it's time for my fruit juice. What was it called again? Ah, sourness fix everything. So this is kind of basic, but I also get there. Tamakoyaki with a little bit of mayo. Mm. Sweet, soft. That's like a real tamakoyaki from a Japanese restaurant. I saved the best for the last, and that is, of course, our pizza. This is actually their signature and most popular dish, and also my favorite. If you've seen my other video, you've seen that I always order this. Look at the layers into it. You can see the three layers, the sushi, the crab, and the cheese, and the mayo. Bon appetit. Mm. 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 Wow. It's like a boss combination, you know what I'm saying? You, when you play that game and you get a really great combo with your teammates, this is exactly how it is. So, what do you think my favorite dish from all of this is? So, drum roll please! The pizza! Yes, this is my top favorite dish. And then my second favorite goes to the sweet tempura. That one really, really surprised me. It just tasted so savory and sweet. It just kind of went to my second place. Delicious. And so is the fruit. Oh my god, I finished almost all of them. I mean, look at those empty plates. Wow. Normally, I just order the sushi, the miso, and my favorite pizza. But this time, I want to do deep dive into the other dishes, so which is why I ordered a lot of them. Uh, even the one roll of sushi is actually very filling for me to eat, but eating this much food is evidence that how much I love their food. There's no way I can finish all of them, so I'm just gonna pack up the parcel and take it back home with me. 
No, I'm so full and nauseous. I need my medicine. Mm. If you're wondering, it's premium ad. I always carry it around with me because I always eat a lot of food, so I get gas a lot. Got it. And this is it. Food was delicious. I could not finish all of it, but it would, I finished most of them. And also the prices are also very affordable and the shop closes at 6 o'clock so don't be late, come early. So Spicy Sushi, if you're watching this video, thank you for your wonderful service and your warm welcome into your open kitchen. It was an amazing experience which I will definitely come back next time. So what do you guys think? Are you craving sushi? If so, come here. Don't judge a food by its cover. This is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you the next time with more fun. Bye guys!